Magandang buhay, dear grade 4 learners! It's me, Teacher Eunice, your math buddy. Let's explore and enjoy the fun in the world of math. Just always remember, whenever you cross a path, there's always math. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to identify the factors of a given number up to 100. So, what are you waiting for? Prepare your pen and paper, find a comfortable seat, and let's do the drill. I'll give you 5 seconds to multiply the numbers. Number 1. 4 times 3 is equal to... If your answer is 12, then you are correct. Next, 6 times 4 is equal to... Twenty-four? Right! Number three. Two times eight is equal to... Good! Sixteen. How about number four? Five times seven is equal to... Excellent! 35. And number 5, 3 times 9 is equal to... Twenty-seven. Very good! Now, let us analyze this picture. How many rows of apple are there? Three rows? Correct! How many apples are there in each row? Excellent! There are four apples in each row. Since we have three rows and there are four apples in each row, therefore, we have 12 apples. How many apples are there in all? Indeed, we have 12 apples in all. How did we come up with 12 apples? Using multiplication, we're going to do it like this. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. 3 times 4 is also equal to 12. Where 12 is the product and 3 and 4 are what we call the factors. Remember that the change in the order of numbers in multiplication does not change the product. That is, Commutative property of multiplication. So, what are factors? Factors are the numbers that are being multiplied to get a product. Let's have an example. Look at this picture. We have 12 apples. We can present it as 3 rows of 4 apples. Also, we can have 1 row of 12 apples. And... 2 rows of 6 apples. In order to get 12 as product, we can multiply 3 and 4, 1 and 12, and 2 and 6. Therefore, the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. This also means that a factor divides a number completely without leaving any remainder. 1 is the smallest factor of every number, and each number has a minimum of two factors, 1 and the number itself. These numbers are called prime numbers. Moving on, let us identify the factors of the other numbers in math practice na! I will give you 5 seconds to identify the factors of the given numbers. What are the factors of 8? Correct! The factors are 1, 2, 4, and 8. How about 17? Very good! The factors are 1 
and 17. Next, we have 25. Right! The factors are 1, 5, and 25. Remember that if the factors of a number are the same, we will only write it once. How about 31? Exactly! The factors are 1 and 31. Lastly, 22. You're right! 1, 2, 11, and 22. Did you get all the answers correctly? Good job! Always remember, in a multiplication sentence, the numbers that are being multiplied are called factors. Now, let us assess what we just learned. Identify the factors of the given number. I'll give you 10 seconds for each number. Write your answer on your paper. Ready? Let's start! Number 1, 9. The factors are 1, 3, and 9. Number 2, 13. The factors are 1 and 13. Number 3, 21. The factors of 21 are 1, 3, 7, and 21. Number 4, 37. The factors of 37 are 1 and 37. Number 5, 45. The factors of 45 are 1, 3, 5, 9, 15, and 45. How many correct answers did you get? No matter what your score is, as long as you learned something for today, you did a good job. Now, for your assignment, this will be your activity. Complete each rainbow by writing the factor pairs for each number in the circle. Write your answer in your notebook. Always remember, whenever you cross a path, there's always math. Again, this is Teacher Eunice. See you at the next episode. Goodbye!